Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lexi. I know I look crazy. I'm about to finally do a wash and go using the Wetline Extreme Gel. This has been probably the most requested video I've had in a very long time. I did a video on moisture and dryness and this is an example of what dry hair for me looks like. It's not soft to the touch. <laughs> It's not movable, child. It's stiff as all hell. So I'm going to actually um, do a clay wash on my hair and get to washing going. I'm actually in a rush. Let's just start the video, rush it through, and see how this wet line extreme gel does for me. Because I'm not a wash and go person, as you guys may or may not know. I don't really care for the time that it takes to do it, for the shrinkage, and for the dryness that I get from it. All the gel and stuff. So... Let's just, let's see what happens, okay? Let's just see what happens. So the clay wash is all up and through my hair. I love a good clay wash when my hair is not filthy, filthy, dirty. Or if I'm trying to get a wash and go, I feel like clay washes define my curls prior to me putting in the gel and help, you know, and my hair is a little bit more moisturized because the clay is super moisturizing and super nourishing to my strands. So the CKK Rasool version of the clay wash. amazing and my hair looks and feels amazing softened up literally almost instantly so i'm gonna rinse it out now and come on here and try to do a wash and go chat and i'm not excited about this <laughs> okay so i'm back my hair is dripping wet i'm trying to hurry this along i realized that like if i dry my hair with the towel or let it dry too much the curls will not be as popping like I learned that so I'm dripping wet these is my these is my these are my curls this is my hair okay cool I'm gonna be using the main choice accomplished triple layer leave-in this is the favorite of mine it's really bomb really moisturizing also smells very very good and I'm gonna be putting the wet line I'm gonna be using my Denman to detangle and like you know all of that so I'm going to do the back section first. You guys are going to be mad, but I'm not about to sit here and do my hair in tiny little sections. I'm not about to do that. It's not going to happen. I'm sorry. Um, for me, that's just really unrealistic, and I feel like nobody, like, literally nobody wants to do that, especially because of how thick this head of hair is. So I'm going to apply that much leave in to this entire back section I hope you guys can see I really do <laughs> get my roots and get my ends and then I'm just gonna break it in half I'm gonna use about that much gel that much gel. I am soaking wet. Like, this is not the play. Okay. And I'm just applying the gel to that section. It's very shiny. And let me just. Hello, curls. How are you? I'm going to appease you guys. I'm gonna try to do whatever people be doing on the internet with their wash and goes. But I know it's best to do this in the shower. But I have the gel all throughout this section. This is what we're looking like right now. Shine on a thousand. Okay, I'm gonna go finish my hair and I'll come back. Okay guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. 
I'm a little bit geeked, just a little bit, <laughs> because I finished my entire head. It was looking like a regular wash and go, like whatever, like how I usually just be looking whatever. And then I let I turned the shower on, I put my head underneath the shower for like two seconds, just to get it wet. Not like soaking, like you know, but like just to get it wet. And then I shook my head around, like boom, 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 back and forth. Like I went like this, I went like this, I went like this, all around, like a bunch of time, maybe like 30 seconds. But I really shook my head like crazy in the bathroom. And the curls are popping. Curls, curls are, curls are there. Curls said hello. Curls said what's good. So I'm interested. The curls are out. Okay guys, so these are my end of day one results and I am not mad. My hair is actually dry. A um, little bit of back story about what I've been doing all day. Since you last saw me and my hair was soaking wet, I sat under the dryer for 10 minutes. Um, and you know that I actually wet my hair with the shower water before even shaking it out and getting it to like clump the curls together. Um, so the dryer thing, I literally timed, but I had to go to work. I was running late, so I literally did 10 minutes under there, just kind of like set it in place. I was told by a stylist that was actually a good thing to do to help it not get frizzy, blah, 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 blah. So the outer edge, the outer layer of my hair was pretty much dry, it felt like I had gel, like it was hard, but inside, every portion of my hair was still wet. Obviously, 10 minutes isn't gonna do much. I went to work, I had the windows down and the sunroof open, and I was in the car for about 45 minutes to an hour. Get to work, my hair was like 50% dry, I would say, a little bit more than that. I drove to work out after work with the windows down and the everything open or whatever. And when I got to my workout, my hair was like 80% dry. The back, like back here, was still very much wet, like all up and through here. But the ends and all the ends and all of my hair, like was put the front was dry, 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 dry. But back here was still pretty damp. So I drove home from the workout, windows down, blah, blah, blah. And my hair is pretty much 100%. 96% um, percent dry right now um, and this is what we're looking like this is my shrinkage this is my definition and I'm really not mad I don't know how you guys feel about it but I just I'm not mad like at all um the front of my hair usually never gets defined I don't really have curls up here I have curls on the sides and in the back a lot and then right here is probably the curliest in terms of curls get, <laughs> what am I talking about, on my hair. But I do like the clumpage I got and the shrinkage is not crazy. It's been a while since I've done um, a wash and go. So my hair I think has also grown and it's just falling differently and maybe the dryer situation helped my hair dry quickly in that lengthened state um so it didn't get to like shrink up all the way who freaking knows because i am not the wash and go person to talk to so yeah <laughs> um i just took a shower i put a shower cap on to help with frizz but i literally i worked out and my hair has looked the same all day my workout did not change how my hair looks at all it's been frizzy in the front all day it's been defined back here all day it's been the same exact length all day like I don't, and then look how it's moving. It's just so cute. It's just so cute. Um, I don't think the camera is doing it justice. I swear, because in the mirror, it's crazy to find. I don't know if y'all can see that on the camera. If you can't, I'll put some cell phone pictures or images or videos or whatever. Anywho, um, I'm going to now band my hair for bed. So y'all will get more than just a day one twist out from me. Yay for me! I got some oil and I got some hair ties. Will I wash and go from now on? I will not. Um, <laughs> but this is a very successful wash and go, if I do say so myself. So shout out to Wetline 
Um, my hair does feel like it has gel, but it's not super, super crunchy. I can still feel the moisture on it. It does feel pretty freaking good. It's just a little bit more stiff than I'm used to. I don't really use this type of gel all over my hair in a large amount like you know but enough talking so <laughs> i'm going to use the femme noir hair growth oil the flower bomb oil i love the texture of this oil um and although my hair is pretty much like good on coconut oil i don't have any adverse reactions to this so i like to use it i'm gonna kind of rub it on my scalp a little bit yeah, my hair is like 92% dry. Like right here, it's a little bit damp in here, but the rest of my hair is doing good. So I'm just gonna scrunch the oil into my hair. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I don't, I haven't experienced much frizz and I'm like, damn, I'm really feeling this. Let me know your thoughts down below. Also, I feel like my hair is kind of dull looking. I'm used to having a little bit, a lot of bit more shine. So I'm trying to use the oil to bring some of my shine back. I'm gonna band my hair into four sections. As I said already, <laughs> I could put more hair in here. I don't really have much flakage either, which is interesting. All right, I'm gonna be quiet and just start <laughs> doing what I'm here to do. If I am ashy, mind your business. I just took a shower, so I could be ashy. I probably am. So I could go longer, but I don't have the tools. <laughs> it took me 30 minutes to scrounge up four scrunchies and I have like three and a half scrunchies right now. So we just gonna do what we can do and keep on moving. I'm not even, I'm not concerned. I'm, I'm not concerned, I could care less. So <laughs> I'm sorry. I could make the band a little bit better but I will survive. And so will y'all. This part's extra anyways. This wasn't included. Y'all didn't click on the video to get a day two wash and go. So <laughs> let's just not even be worried about <laughs> what's happening. I have an even smaller band, but I need to buy some hair ties, you guys, for real. I'm tripping. I'm surprised I even was able to find four or three and a half. Ah, my hair is so thick. And I don't wanna like make the hair frizzy even though I really don't care, but I don't wanna like, you know, I wanna give it an accurate attempt. So I wanna be too rough with it. Okay. I think that's the same length. If not, we're gonna move on. <laughs> So I have this and then I have this snappy. I don't think I can ban with a snappy. Like I don't think it's gonna happen. So I might have to just do the back into one big band. I might have to really just put this into one band and make it long because I have a long hair tie. So that might be the play. I searched high and low for another hair tie and I couldn't find one, so that's what we're gonna do. That's what, that's what we're gonna do, that's what we're gonna do. So we turn myself around to the back. I'm just happy that I kind of have had a good wash and go. And I'm looking forward, can y'all see this? No. Can y'all see this? Probably. I'm, I'm looking forward to having a good day too, wash and go. My roots are very soft. My hair is soft from that main choice leave-in. Where's my band? Did I drop? Oh, no. <laughs> mm -mm. Y'all seeing how stupid I am? Okay. So I'm going to be tight back here because this band is such a big section. I really want to get some stretch. 
out of this. <sighs> this is a workout, y'all. And I already done worked out for the day. Whew. When will I learn to put voiceovers? Ugh. Lord Jesus. Do y'all see Struggle City back here? Oh Lord. Should have just bought some hair ties at the Winn-Dixie. All right. And the front, look how it's all poofy. Lord, it's kind of poofy up top of here, but I'm tired. So I'm actually gonna use the snappy to try to pull my ends down a little bit more and see if I can get some more length. I think the oil added immediate shine, for real. Like, looking in the mirror, my hair looks quite shiny. Yeah, I'm definitely frizzing up this, <laughs> this hair with all this trying to band it. But I am able to get a little bit more length with the snappy. Okay. Okay. So we have three bands. It's not ideal I would like to have four but y'all know that I'm having some difficulty with my life being a mess the usual the good thing is my hair is pretty much dry um, and I'm gonna put on my bonnet I'm gonna go to bed I will probably wake up and like film me taking the bands out y'all will see me tomorrow y'all y'all will see me tomorrow appreciate you Give me a good old congratulations in the comments for having a successful wash and go because I am anti wash and go as most of you know. So give me a hoorah <laughs> in the comment section because I've done had me a good old day one wash and go. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Wow. And my hair also does not feel brittle like the desert. It don't feel like, you know, for no reason, I'm putting oil on my scalp, for no reason. But my hair feels good, and I am just elated. <sighs> I done dropped oil on my face, and I did not even moisturize yet. And my face does not like coconut or olive oil on her. Oh my gosh, let me go. See, me being extra, trying to oil up my scalp for the first time in a minute, got me out here getting the oil on my face. Call my mother and tell her. I don't know what. Good night, y'all. I will see you in the morning, and I don't know why I'm being so extra. It's damn near midnight. I just paid a red light ticket. I should be pissed, but I'm just grateful that life is being lived. That's all. I found me a little napkin. Mm-mm-mm. Oil all on my face. And I'm not about to wash it again. I already washed it and put on my treatment, my acne treatment. So we're going to put some moisturizer on and go to bed. If I break out, <laughs> we know why. <laughs> I should have been saying goodnight to y'all 20 minutes ago. But sometimes I be in the mood to talk, and I guess that's tonight. If we have frizz tomorrow, y'all know why. Because I was acting a fool on the camera. I'm just putting the banded parts down so it's not crazy in the morning. So somebody's going to be like, oh my God, she didn't even have enough head tie. She didn't even do it right. She didn't even do it right. Save it, okay? I am no professional. I never claim to be, okay? So, don't come for me and my technique, okay? Unless you have some tips and tricks, I wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear, you ain't doing it right. You're supposed to use this, you're supposed to use this brush, shake and bake, you're supposed to shingle, you're supposed to do it like this. Be nice, okay? Cause I'm nice to you, be nice to me, thanks, okay? Appreciate it. 
Don't worry about my banding method. Don't worry about me needing to use a three layered comb to define my curls. Mind your business, okay? I'm here to help those that wanna be helped and really do a product review, okay? Technique is not my thing when it comes to wash and goes, as my lovely viewers already know. But I'm gonna go to bed now. See when in the morning I was on 10 for no reason. <laughs> Am I that all over here too? Love you guys. See you tomorrow. The video's not over yet. What am I doing? Lord, good morning to you. The birds are chirping. <laughs> oh, my eyes are watering. And this never happens. <sighs> hello, hello. Good morning, good morning. Um, it's time for the big reveal. I have to go to work, so I won't be on here acting a fool for too long. Um... Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So I have my three bands. They look the same, a little bit flat. But let's just take the bands out. They don't need for talking. I should have made this whole video a freaking voiceover because... Actually, let me do what people do on the internet and oil up my hands. Hold on. Let's scooch on over. I'm going to get the same oil from yesterday or from last night. Ugh. Okay. It's me. Give it up. It's me. I win. You lose. Ha 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 ha. Who needs drugs when you act like this? Like, I don't know because I don't think I would be able to function. I'm already a hot mess. My hands are probably ashy. All right, this is the first section. Curls are popping. Hair is stretched. Okay, hair is soft. I like this length I'm getting here. See, now I see I could have banded it a little bit better, maybe, like had, the, had a couple more bands. That's my breakfast going off. But it's okay. This is like just something to try out. <clears throat> Take this band out. I'm trying to be gentle so I don't cause any excess frizz um, and tangles, even though I don't really care about frizz, but we don't want tangles. All right. Second band is out. Uh, um, this side's a little bit more crispy than the other side. I must have put more gel. Curls popping back here, okay. I think I wanna put my hair in the front of my face today. We'll figure that out, we'll figure that out. I'm not mad at this wash and go. I'm really not mad at it. After banding, I'm like, wow, this is people we're talking about and they do wash and goes and they band it and they actually have good results. This is what the girls and guys be talking about. <clears throat> is it like less work than a twist out? Yes. You kind of get immediate results. You can wear your hair out in the wash and go state. Um, I just don't care for the shrinkage. But if I can take the shrinkage on day one, okay length, okay length. I also don't care for my hair being filled with gel. Okay, length. Listen, guys, I had beautiful results with my wash and go. I have beautiful results. Okay, length. The length showed up. The length said hello. The length said I'm here. I think the back has more length because I did that one big band. And I made the band long with two bands. One band, 50 band, 100 band, fuck it, man. This is not even disgusting, man, OMG. If you knew me in real life, you know I'm always rapping. So <clears throat> that just had to come out, I'm sorry. Yeah, the back of my hair has a little bit more stretch because I used, I think, just a longer, tighter band, but the front of my hair is more compressed. I'm just gonna play with it for a second. 
um, shape it up how I want and I'll be back with my final thoughts. Even though I gave my thoughts throughout this whole video, I can't believe this is a freaking wash and go. Okay guys, so I am over the moon with my results. I think that my hair took really well to what I used. I don't know what the average person on here uses under their wetline extreme gel i really liked the combination of the main choice leave-in because it's very moisturizing and very softening to the hair but it's not crazy thick overpowering but my hair does feel soft to touch and it is movable and it it's just really really freaking cute i'm just like I'm not mad. I'm happy to see my like natural curl pattern show up. I rarely like literally never have my natural curl pattern out and about saying hello, hi. So I'm not mad. I'm really, really happy with the results. My hair is not crazy crunchy. Um, the only other wash and go that I really, really thought came out the best but was crazy crunchy was the wash and go I did with the Cream of Nature Snot. The curls were popping, but my hair was just hard, hard, hard. But right now, my hair is not hard, hard, hard at all. And it just looks really healthy to me. It looks really, it looks really good. I'm not mad at it at all. Listen, oh my God, I feel so pretty. And I'm like makeup free with the wash and go. Like, yes. Shout out to black people and our hair being so versatile, okay? I'm, I'm just... Oh, I'm feeling myself. Okay, I'm gonna end the video here though. It's been a little minute from application to check-ins to banding to the morning. Like, it's been a long video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that I gave you some, I don't know, some something other than nothing, okay? If you have any questions, leave them down below. I didn't get into the ingredients of the gel, but I will leave that in the description box because I forgot to read it to y'all and it's, all the way over there and the video long enough I'm gonna just go um, personally when it comes to gels I'm not crazy about ingredients because I don't use them like that but if you care about ingredients for your gels check it out down below it's a very cheap gel so I think that we all know it's not the most natural thing in the world I think I spent two something or three something on that big bottle um, from Target. So I'll leave a link to the gel and to the main choice leave-in as well and to the clay wash that is my favorite. I will leave that down below as well. And the oil. The oil smells bomb. The oil has actual flowers in it. It smells really good. Okay, video done. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Make sure you don't leave here without subscribing to my channel because Like the video, comment your thoughts, appreciate y'all, and I will see you guys in the next one. Do I look cute to y'all? Does my hair, is it giving y'all life? Am I serving? I feel like I'm really out here serving. All right. <laughs> Bye, guys.